Well, hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to make you up some Jamaican style fried dumpling. All right, it's easy, it's simple, it's good on a Friday. It's, as a matter of fact, it's good for every day of the week. Whenever you feel like going simple, this is what you need to be doing. I'm going to show you how I do my fried dumpling in my kitchen. So come on and let me show you all the ingredients that you will need. Cause it's the Indian oh, mm -hmm. Just like a cuckoo Girl, I wanna wrap you up Don't wanna let you go Girl, I wanna keep it tight Alright Right here I have two cups of All-purpose flour I'm using all-purpose flour because I like To add my own Self-rise in whatever in my flour So I'm going to use Two cups of all-purpose flour and then I'll add whatever I need to add in there to make it nice and fluffy all right also you're going to need two tablespoons of sugar all right you're going to use a cup of milk this is the lactate milk because you know you know where I may use lactate milk all right if you have any other milk in your fridge go ahead and use that all right but you're going to need one cup you're also going to need some baking powder here and you're going to need some salt Right, so come on let's get all this thing going first thing you're going to do is go ahead and put your sugar into the milk give it a little bit of spin the sugar that I put in there was two tablespoons not teaspoon enough two tablespoons of sugar into one cup of milk any milk of your you choice need one teaspoon of baking powder and then I'm just going to put a, not too much salt, maybe a half a teaspoon of salt. And I have a half a stick of butter I'm going to put in here as well. If you have any other margarine or whatever, you could just go ahead and add it in there. Now, this is where it gets messy. You're going to make sure that your hands are clean. And of course, you're just going to work it all in there. Just kind of take your fingers and kind of break up that butter just like this all right make sure it's not unclean because you know I'm in a nasty fried up and get people to eat all right just like that combine everything together now you're going to go ahead and add your milk in don't put all of it in at the same time just use a little bit of milk at a time as you go along. all right so this is what the dough looks like after you're done rub up everything and knead up everything and everything it's supposed to look like this right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the, let this sit for about an hour to two hours before I start frying right so let's get the, your, your plastic wrap and you put it in here and you just wrap it up and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and when I come back I'm going to show you guys how to get this thing going so see you in about an hour or two hours from now all right now I'm gonna get ready to fry this dumpling for you guys this was sitting in the refrigerator for about an hour to two hours so let's get started First thing you're gonna do is put your oil in the pot you could use any oil that you have in your pantry I'm using the pure coin oil you go ahead and put it in there and you make sure that that oil is hot before you start putting in the dumpling. All right, now I have my fire on medium high, all right? And so now let's watch carefully because this is very important for you all guys. All right, let's go ahead and just spin it in the palm of your hand just like that. It's supposed to look like this, right? You could either use this part of your hand and push in here or you could just leave it just as it is, just like a ball like that and just put it into the hot oil. And once again, it's hot medium high, right? Okay guys, here you have it. I'm going to let this fry evenly on both sides for about five minutes. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the next like five minutes. So see you back in five I'm minutes. I'm frying it on that side for five minutes. 
grind it on the other side for another five minutes and I'm also going to turn it on both sides for a few more minutes just to make sure that inside is nicely cooked so when I get done frying this and I'll show you guys what it looks like on a plate well here it is guys fried on plain Jamaican style all right give it a try let me know how you like it all right thanks for love and support and once again from my kitchen to yours enjoy Cause it's the Indian oh, mm -hmm. Just like a cocoon Girl, I wanna wrap you up Don't wanna let you go Girl, I wanna keep it tight And if this then separates us And things are fine Why don't you know